Welcome back to The Time of Your Life. I'm your host, Ethel Rasmussen. We are fortunate to have walk-run participants, Ronnie Wong, a member of the Catonsville Senior Center, and Diane Prather, a member of the Bicota and Catonsville Senior Centers on today's show. Welcome to the show, Ronnie and Diane. Ronnie, how long have you been a member of the Catonsville Senior Center and what sparked your interest to join? Three years. Three years. What made you go there? Because you, you, have, you have more people to train, you know. So you also have people can talk. Right. Um, I happen to know that you run marathons and use the Catonsville Fitness Center to train. Can you talk about your training routine and how you prepare for a race? For me, I just run race every weekend. Every weekend? So how do you prepare for a marathon? Important, you, you know, the weekend you need to run a little bit longer. I sometimes I might run outside, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you go to the Catonsville Fitness Center, you, what equipment do you use there mostly? I mostly only you the treadmill. The treadmill. They, they, if they have your collect time, you want to do seven minute pace, you have to run seven minute pace. Right. That's correct, exactly one mile. They tell you how many miles you're going. Excellent. Um, I know this year you are the Grand Marshal of our BCDA Get Ready, Get Set, Get Fit 5K, one walk, one mile walk. Um, are there suggestions that you can give others to train for the 5K, which it may encompass beginners as well as experience levels of fitness? The first thing, you need a pair of good running shoes. Good Very shoes. Very important. Right. And then you can start give you a couple of weeks to training. If you ever run, never run before, better go to the track to get to the soft surface, you know, mm -hmm. to get, you know, hurt, you know, if you never run before. You go to the track soft surface, so you got some cushion. You can go starting with like 400 meters two times on the first day. Then next day, you go up a little bit more, see how you feel. Your leg, you know. Gotcha. Then slowly, you, you run in the track, you know. Slowly from a mile, then go up for week by week again, your marriage. Begin slow, but the important part is getting out there. Is that right, what you're telling to, us? Right. Excellent. Let's move to Diane. I understand that both you and your husband participate in the run walk. Um, can you talk about how this is meaningful and fun event for all fitness levels and that you are a runner and your husband's a walker? Mm -hmm. Yes, so my husband Walter and I got married in 2003 and we both jogged a little bit before we married and so when we, after we married we decided to join the Bicota Fitness Center and participate in the the uh, walk run. Uh, now Walter's uh, heart condition has worsened over the past few years so he does the one mile circuit around the gymnasium and I still try to do the 5k but I walk more than I run now. Uh, it's, it's very it's challenging and, and a lot of fun. Uh, I'm pleased if I can finish in under an hour so I'm not going to break any records. Uh, it's uh, we hope we to, that we can continue to do it and as long as we can. The point is that you're out there trying, and I know that the run walk is also very much a social event. Mm -hmm. So can you talk about how this experience and participating with your friends is part of it? Well, we are fortunate that the uh, director of the Bicota Senior Center is Julie Lynn, and she's an avid runner. So she's very enthusiastic about getting uh, members from Bicota to participate. Uh, we have, Walter and I have also walked the NCR trail with some of the members from uh, Catonsville Senior, Cockeysville Senior Center. And I hope to see some of those ladies at the walk run this year. Uh, let's see, what else? The, um, there, uh, a lot of the seniors will bring their grandchildren and children to the walk run. So uh, it's a fun event for everybody to get together for something that they enjoy in common instead of the children having their headsets on the whole time and listening to their phones. Uh, there are also stands uh, and areas around in the parking lot where you can pick up material from uh, the, bike, the uh, Baltimore County 
offices mm -hmm. and health screenings such as a blood pressure or balance screening and there's helpful medical advice available. That's uh, true. We have lots of, um, of the local colleges that participate doing screenings of sort that fall into po fall prevention day. That's true. That's celebrate it. Mm -hmm. That's true. And I might mention that uh, uh, before the race we have a fun event, the uh, dance aerobics. So the young people do enjoy that. That is true. What advice can you share for those that are watching the show and may be considering whether they should attend the event? Well, in addition to Ronnie's excellent advice for the runners, I would say uh, get, your, get your, uh, your flyer early and enroll early. Uh, when, when on the day of the event, uh, eat a light breakfast, wear comfy sneakers, and uh, uh, let's see. Well, when you get to the race, you'll find that there is uh, lots of ample parking and restroom facilities, and there are uh, light refreshments there and snacks. So I would encourage everybody to come out, whether you're going to run, walk, cheerlead, or just be an armchair uh, participant. You want to support your senior center and uh, it, you'll feel a lot better for doing so. Excellent. And I want to remind everyone that the first 200 guests that come uh, to the Run Walk will get this wonderful swag bag. So that may be a little extra push in, of encouragement. Um, certainly our Run Walk falls into our Reimagine Aging initiative that the department is doing where, you know, people are living um, and breaking stereotypes of ageism along the way. And you, you two are great examples. Do you have any words of wisdom to tell people of what they should do to keep active and reimagine aging? <laughs> Just And one more thing very important is diet. Too. Diet. Diet mm -hmm. is important, yeah. That's true. And just uh, be determined, you know, do what you can and keep at it. Keep at it. Good, mm -hmm. good advice. Thank you both for being here today. We're very grateful to have you with us on the show. Thank you. We're going to take a short break. When we return, learn about Senior Center travel, Senior Box Office, and what's happening at your local Senior Center.